History Spotlight, brought to you by HEC Media and the Missouri Historical Society. Hello, I'm Dr. Jody Sowell, President of the Missouri Historical Society in St. Louis, and this is History Spotlight. Bloody Island has a special place in St. Louis history as a site where political adversaries could challenge each other to duels. Public historian Amanda Clark explains how the most important duel was the one that wasn't even fought. So sometimes telling a good story and telling good history are at odds, and for journalists and historians, it can be pretty tempting to embellish a little bit here, drop a detail or two there, and events that get this treatment become a jumble of truth and fiction. Minor moments take on mythical proportions, and major details are left to be rediscovered by later generations. In St. Louis history, a great example of this involves an 1842 duel involving future U.S. President Abraham Lincoln. It could be called the most famous duel that never happened. It is true that Lincoln was challenged to a duel. The young politician had publicly shamed a rival, Illinois State Auditor James Shields. He wrote a series of newspaper letters signed under the pen name of Rebecca. The letters ridiculed Shields' political views, made fun of his business skills, and even were pretty harsh about his romantic endeavors. Shields felt no choice but to challenge Lincoln. They meet on an island in the Mississippi to fight using swords, not guns. Their friends convince them not to fight. Everyone lives, goes on to make a lot of history. Those are solid facts. But as the story passed down through generations, several parts start to shift in pretty interesting ways. First, the location. You'll easily find lots of reports that it happened on St. Louis's infamous Bloody Island, a well-known spot for dueling. But in reality, it took place 25 miles away, just outside of Alton, on the less dramatically named Sunflower Island. Second, it's commonly said that they chose the island because dueling was still legal in Missouri. Also, totally untrue. It had been illegal since the 1820s. But what was true was that under Illinois law, dueling would have made them ineligible for public office. There are also several parts of the original story that are way more colorful than the distilled version. Those letters that started the whole business, they were written by Abraham Lincoln and his then fiance Mary Todd. And the actual duel was stopped before it was started, when one of the men in the party called Shields a whippersnapper and threatened to spank him. Both Lincoln and Shields refused to talk about it with anyone for the rest of their lives. And Lincoln even told someone once, if you want to be my friend at all, you will never bring it up again. So it's pretty easy to see why journalists and historians may have wanted to embellish a little bit on that story. Next week on History Spotlight, why engineers didn't believe that this spectacular St. Louis bridge would stand. To learn more about the Missouri Historical Society, visit mohistory.org.